Google Maps is great for walking around cities that you're unfamiliar with, except when it's not. Thanks to these tall buildings, it's tough to get a GPS signal, which means that little dot that is supposed to be you, sometimes it's way over there. So they decided to fix it with visual positioning, street view, and a little bit of machine learning. The way the system works is that, let's say you get out of a subway and you don't know which direction to go. You can actually put your directions in your phone, point it up, and it recognizes the buildings. And once it's recognized them, it says, oh, you need to go that way. Now we are heading to Blue Bottle Coffee. It's a fancy coffee shop here in San Francisco and probably other areas. And it's using AR to help guide us. What's nice is that Google thought about safety while designing this. So you can't actually just walk and do this for a long period of time. What the system does is actually tell you to put your phone down and keep an eye on the street. That way you won't walk into, let's say a pole or even worse, an intersection with cars. If while you're walking, you get, well, turned around once again, you just hold the phone up, it recognizes what's going on and you're back to being oriented. Now it only uses solid stationary objects, buildings, anything that's been cataloged by Street View is available here with machine learning in order to find out where you need to go. So it doesn't use trees because those can be cut down and because leaves will fall, and it doesn't use construction sites or large vehicles. So these huge buildings that are actually impeding the GPS, they actually help this system. It's telling me how far away Mission Street is. It's 420, 417 feet. By using visual positioning and street view, cramming those together with machine learning, it's able to pinpoint your location. The problem with the blue dot is that Currently, it thinks I'm looking to the left. I'm actually looking straight because the issue is GPS doesn't work well in urban canyons. Using it while being directed to Blue Bottle Cafe was actually pretty much just like using Google Maps while I'm walking around, except that every once in a while, if I need to reorient myself, I just held up the phone and did this. Hey, there I am. The system looks at all the buildings and it reorients me so it knows uh, what direction I'm actually pointed. So we've made it to Blue Bottle Coffee. I was able to navigate the rough and tough streets of San Francisco, where there was a weird intersection. Market Street in San Francisco has a lot of weird intersections. It successfully navigated me across the street onto the right route. There are on-screen prompts that tell you when you're approaching a street with a countdown of how many feet you have to go, and giant arrows that tell you whether you need to go left or right. Now, if this looks familiar, it's because it looks similar to what Mercedes already has in its MBUX system. So if you're expecting this on your phone, well, don't. Google's only rolling this out to select local guides today on iOS and Android globally. And as for the Fox, well, they're still working on it and hopefully we'll see it soon, scampering around the city.